What's up everybody, Man Bear Cow here, back with another video teaching warlocks how to get the Rune of Metamorphosis, a highly desired rune that will allow you to turn into a big purple demon and become a warlock tank. And hopefully you like journeys because this rune is quite a journey to collect. You can begin working towards this rune at level 20, however, even at level 25, you are likely to require a group in order to complete this task. However, it should get easier to solo as you get closer to level 30. So once you reach level 20, all races of warlocks will need to head to the Barrens. Yep, even the Alliance. Just outside of Camp Tarajo to the northeast is a small camp. I mean, it's really small. It's just one tent. Where you will find a human NPC named Doan Carhan. If you're a horde warlock, all you have to do is go to Camp Tarajo and look to the northeast from the junction where the main roads come together. If you are an Alliance Warlock, you will likely need to take a boat, either from Booty Bay to Ratchet, or you will take a boat from Wetlands or Darkshore to Theramore Isle. Once you reach Doan Carhan, he will give you a quest called the Orb of Soren Rook. He says, when demons of the Legion fall out of favor, their spirits are imprisoned within orbs and distributed to their mages and warlocks. Many were carried by their servants in Azeroth. Even fragmented, they still possess the powers of the demons trapped inside. The orb of Soren Rook was broken into two pieces. One was further broken to be used by the acolytes of the Twilight's Hammer in Black Fathom Deeps. The other, larger piece, was possessed by a wizard in Shadowfang Keep. Find them and I can reform it. Accept the quest and we will be tasked with finding three Soren Rook fragments and one large Soren Rook fragment. The large Soren Rook fragment will be found in Shadowfang Keep, a five-man dungeon in Silver Pine Forest with a recommended level of 22 through 30. The large Soren Rook fragment will drop off of Shadowfang Dark Souls, which are the worgen or werewolf enemies that you can find inside the courtyard after you free the undead guy and he unlocks the door for you. I was able to find my large fragment off of a Dark Soul in a hallway closer to the final boss. Up next, we will head to Black Fathom Deeps. Here, we will need to collect three Soren Rook fragments off of Twilight Acolytes. These enemies will be found in the large chamber leading up to Twilight Lord Kelris. And if raiding isn't your thing, you can also find Twilight Acolytes outside of the entrance to Black Fathom Deeps. Once you have three Soren Rook fragments, you will take those along with your large fragment back to Doan Carhan in the Barrens. Turn in the Orb of Soren Rook and pick up Rumors Abound. As Doan says, Whispers within the shadows speak of a weapon containing the soul of a great demonic being. Lesser demons like Soren Rook are one thing, but much more powerful entities, bound as punishment for their failures, offer unimaginable power. This weapon was lost ages ago, shattered during the Third War. Recently, these rumors have said that mages meddling with dark magic beyond their comprehension have claimed fragments of the weapon, but they are unable to lock the powers without reforming it. Alright, so part two of this warlock quest chain will require us to find two more items, the Orb of Dez and the Bow of Altec. Both of these items will be found at the top of towers in Alliance territory. The Orb of Dez will be found at the top of the Tower of Ilgalar in Red Ridge Mountains. Alliance characters can easily reach the tower in eastern Red Ridge Mountains by walking there from Lakeshire. Horde characters will have to make the long trek from Gromgol War Camp in Stranglethorn Vale. I go into more detail on how to make this journey in my video for the Warlock Incinerate Rune, but you will basically need to follow the main road out of Stranglethorn Vale continuing north through Duskwood before heading east into Red Ridge Mountains. The other option is to swim around the coastline into Westfall before continuing east and avoiding Duskwood altogether. Once you reach the tower, you will have to climb to the top and loot the item which will be sitting on a table on the top floor of the tower. But be careful because the tower is filled with enemies level 28 through 30. And while you don't need to defeat any of the mobs in order to loot the rune, you can just pick it up off the table. At level 25, you will have to clear the surrounding area in order to loot the item without drawing aggro. 
I was lucky, and when I went to the tower, I was able to find another group that was about to head in. So I joined up with them, and was easily able to collect my orb. Once you have the orb of Dez, we will head to the Tower of Althalax in Darkshore. The tower lies in the north end of the zone, just east of the river. Alliance characters once again have it easy. All they have to do is follow the main road north from Aberdeen. For Horde characters, this run is much less daunting than the journey to Red Ridge Mountains. The best way for Horde Warlocks to get to the Tower of Althalax is to follow the main road north from Zoramgar Outpost, continuing north to the far end of Darkshore. The Tower of Althalax is very similar to the Tower of Ilgalar. You will once again need to climb to the top while avoiding mobs in the level 28 to 30 range, and you will once again need to find the item laying around on the top floor. So what if you're like me, and you're level 25, and you're impatient, and you can't find a group willing to help you go to the tower? I have heard of some people having success by corpse jumping their way to the top of the tower. Perhaps your character can resurrect somewhere near the item and have enough time to loot it before getting attacked. However, I tried this method multiple times during a live stream and was unable to do it. Fortunately for me, there was an alliance druid who decided to climb the tower and help me complete the quest. So I basically just had to wait for them to clear the room of enemies or for somebody to pull aggro and then I could loot the item quickly before getting out of there. Thanks Momokin. I'd also like to take a moment to mention that most of this quest line will require you to have the quest in order to loot the items. However, the Orb of Dez and Bow of Altec can both be looted without having the quest. So if you find yourself heading to Darkshore or Red Ridge Mountains for any reason before you have the quest, let's say you just happen to stumble across a group forming in general chat, you can go ahead and take advantage of the opportunity. However, you will only be able to do this with the Orb of Dez and Bow of Altec. The rest of this quest line, you will have to have the quest in order to loot the items required. Those of you who decide to get this rune at a higher level will have a much easier time around level 30. But not me. I had to have it now. So we have the Orb of Dez and the Bow of Altec. Once again, we will head back to Doan Karhan in the Barrens. You will turn in the quest and then pick up the Conjuring. So part 3 of this Warlock rune quest line will take us to Ashenvale. And if Horde characters thought that they had it tough during the last mission by running deep into Alliance territory, now is their chance to get a little bit of revenge. Especially if you're on a PvP server. Because Warlocks of both factions will need to head to Fellfire Hill, tucked away in the southeastern corner of Ashenvale, south of the Warsong Lumber Camp. Horde characters can easily reach Fellfire Hill from Splinter Tree Post. Alliance characters will have to make the trek from Astranar. And it's not the length of the journey that makes this difficult for Alliance. It's the fact that they will have to trek through Horde infested territory in a PvP active zone. In any case, as you enter the area near Fellfire Hill, you will need to collect 10 Blood of the Legion, which can be looted from the level 29 to 30 demons in this area. Notably, the Manorok Lasher, the Felguard, Searing Infernal, and Legion Hound. You can collect these items off of demon corpses as you make your way south into the canyon. Now this canyon is a very neat location in the lore of Warcraft, going back to Warcraft 3. And inside this canyon, we can find an impact crater with a monument to Gromish Hellscream. And old school fans of Warcraft might recognize this as the location from a popular cutscene in the orc campaign of Reign of Chaos, where Grom Hellscream defeat the demon lord Manorok, lifting the curse that the demons placed upon the orcs. Now this goes back to Warcraft 1 and 2, both of which were top-down real-time strategy games whose major selling point was, hey, you could play as the enemy. You could be humans or you could be the orcs. And orcs were indeed the villain of Warcraft 1 and 2. Their blood had been cursed by the demons, and they were sent into Azeroth to battle the humans. However, in Warcraft 3, Thrall and Grom Hellscream would confront Manoroth. It was Manoroth's blood who had caused the curse to begin with. More accurately, it was Grom Hellscream drinking the blood of Manoroth which caused the curse. 
So it's only fitting that it would be Grom who would land the fatal blow against Manoroth, liberating himself from the blood curse as well as the entire orc race. <coughs> I have freed myself. No, old friend. You freed us all. In any case, on the northern end of this canyon, you will find a trail which will take you up the hill. Follow the pathway up the hill and in the northwestern corner of this area, you will find a summoning portal. Once you have collected 10 Blood of the Legion, you will click on the Dark Ritual Stone near the portal. You will need to contend with 4 waves of enemies, all level 25. On the 4th wave, you will face a single Searing Infernal. You will need to defeat him while standing within the purple rune on the ground and channeling Drained Soul on him. When you defeat the Searing Infernal, you will see a mysterious traveler standing in his place. He says, what? Where am I? How, how did I get here? The man before you stumbles around as if seasick. His eyes widen and his hands tremble and you stare at each other in a moment of shared confusion. Ah, a fellow warlock I see. Perhaps we discuss what led to this series of events and maybe we can find out what went wrong. Once again, we return to Don Carhan in the Barrens. As he says, Interesting indeed. I set you out to slay a demon. Never in my wildest imagination would I have thought you'd return with a friend. He continues, Razel was a friend, one I thought I had lost long ago, from a different time. We were young apprentices back then. Much has changed. The result of the ritual might have been a setback, but I believe we can still reform the weapon. Razel and I have much to discuss. Together we will come up with a plan. I'll send word once we know how to move forward. In the meantime, take this. It seems like something you might be interested in. Well, that sounds interesting. It sounds like we may be returning here for another important task in the future, perhaps another rune. Meanwhile, our journey is complete. We have the Rune of Metamorphosis. Right click the rune and there we go. We have Metamorphosis, a rune that will turn you into a large purple demon and allow you to tank dungeons and raids. Or you can just run around and do quests and look really awesome while doing it. It's up to you. It's your rune. Use it how you like. And if you found this guide helpful, show us some love down below in the comments. And if you're feeling generous, you may want to consider sending us a super thanks. A super thanks is a great way to show us your thanks if our guides have saved you any time or frustration. You might also consider joining the channel with a monthly membership. Memberships begin at $2.99 and you could earn exclusive perks like early access to videos. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can receive notifications when we release new videos. On behalf of Man Bear Cow, this is Beetlejuice signing out, saying thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.